Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now this is going to be one of the most useful video and the video wherein you will learn new tips and tricks for your Google Maps usage in your Digipad. Now I hope all of you have already downloaded and installed Google Maps in your Digipad. I had also put up a video in the past few days uh, giving you an updated link in order to download and install the Google Maps and I hope you have checked that video as well. In case you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you just go ahead and check that out and download Google Maps using the latest link. So once the Google Map is downloaded and up and running in your Digipad, I am going to show you some of the tips and tricks which you can use to make your usage of Google Maps much more better and much more enhanced. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you right now as here is in the case so there is a Google Maps installed in my Digipad, I am just going to open that. So make sure before you use the Google Maps, make sure the Digipad is connected to the internet and the GPS uh, is turned on and it is showing your car location. And I make sure that the internet connection is pretty strong and uh, especially because when we were traveling we, are, we cannot use our home Wi-Fi. So obviously we have to use our smartphone Wi-Fi and we have to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. So make sure your Wi-Fi hotspot is created and uh, you are sharing the internet from your smartphone to the Digipad and it's a pretty much smart connection, pretty strong connection. So once that is done, now as you can see I have opened my Google Maps and it is showing my location right in the middle of the screen. So here in you can see a plus and minus button, these are the zoom in and the zoom out buttons. So you can actually zoom in, you can also use your fingers to zoom in and you can zoom out in the same way, you can also use the buttons as well. So right now in this video I am going to show you 4 smart tricks which you can use in your uh, Digipad in your Google Maps in the Digipad so that the experience of using Google Maps in the Digipad becomes much more better. So the first trick which I wanted to show you guys is that you can store the Google Maps or you can store some of the data of certain area in the maps in the Digipad itself and the next time when you drive in that area you need not have an internet connection. Yes, you can disconnect internet and you can still use Google Maps and that becomes possible because there is an option to have an offline maps in the Digipad. So right now, so here when the Google Maps is opened up, just click on the menu button on the left, on the right side and here as you can see there is an option called as make available offline. So if you just click on that offline button, so here it is going to show you a square area. So in this area you can zoom in and zoom out and up to I think 80 MB size. Now right, right now as you can see it is showing that the area is very large and I need to zoom in. So that is not a problem, I am just going to zoom in a bit. So here you go, uh, the maximum size it takes is about 80 MB. So that's the maximum size but that is sufficient actually and as you can see the estimated size it is showing as 82 MB and it is covering a large portion of the map of India, of southern India and uh, this you can actually save in your digipad and the next time when you are traveling which in this part, in this square part you need not have an internet connection and the map is going to be already stored into the digipad. So right now if I click on the done button it is going to store this map in the digipad and the next time as I said in travel the offline maps will get loaded onto the screen and you need not have a proper internet connection also. So when this helps when, when you are traveling in areas when there is no network and you are missing out on the road on the navigation and there is a very less or a very weak signal and you need to have a navigation map in your hand. So in the such cases this can help a lot and you can use make, make use of this offline maps and before traveling whenever you are traveling to a certain location you can store that. Uh, location in the maps in the car so whenever you're traveling you need not connect a Wi-Fi hotspot from your smartphone and directly you can use the Google Maps from the Digipad and that location will get showed up on the Digipad screen because the map will be stored in an offline manner. So this is the first trick and it's a very useful trick. I think you guys should use this. This is also available in our smartphones but luckily this is available in the older version of the Digipad, older version of the Google Maps in our Digipad as well. So this is the first trick guys. Go ahead and save the offline maps of whichever area you live in and once you save that area, that area is going to be staying in the digipad and next time when you drive it is going to load automatically without an internet connection. That's the first trick which I wanted to show you guys. And the second trick which I want to show you guys is that if you have a proper internet connection. So right now let me just zoom in on the location of my place where I am standing right now. So this is the location where my car is standing. So this is the blue dot. So you, uh, the next trick is you can use actually use the Google Earth inside the Google Maps. So yes, the Google Earth satellite imagery, the actual photograph of the Earth, you can use it on your digipad and I don't think any car will have this. So just go ahead and click on the layers button which is right next to the GPS button. So if you click on the layers button, there is an option called as satellite written right here. So if you just click on the satellite button, now as you can see, 
the google earth map is loading up and this is an actual satellite photograph it's not a, a cgi or anything now this is an open ground area as you can see there's a, a complete open area where the car is standing and this is the open area which you're seeing on the screen right now this is exactly the satellite imagery and you can use this while navigation also and while using the google maps in general also now this is very useful because uh, when you are you are driving in a different different location or in a difficult pathway you can get to know the surroundings by using the google earth which is built in inside the google maps in our digipad so what you need to do is just click on the layers button and click on the satellite and here you will get to know in detail about the terrain in detail about the houses everything all the data this you can get an actual satellite photograph of that area whichever area you are traveling all around the world you can get that so before I show you the third trick of using the Google Maps, let me just shift back to the original uh, default maps and remove this satellite maps. Now right now these are the default maps available. So the third important tip which you can use is that if you if your Google Maps is properly connected to the internet and it's a strong connection, you can have live traffic updates on the Digipad itself. Yes, that is possible in this version. Just go ahead, click on the layers button and click on the traffic button which is right on top of the satellite so if you click on the traffic button now as you can see just the popped out the green lines and the orange lines popped out immediately and this is this shows the current traffic and the, this is real time update of the traffic of that particular road of highways of course it's not going to show the traffic of the interior roads but main roads and highways it is going to show the traffic updates and as you can see the green lines show that the traffic is free and the orange lines show that there is a medium traffic and the red line shows that there is a high traffic so you can use the traffic lines also you can get to know which area has high traffic which area has low traffic even before traveling and even while using navigation you can have a go at it and get to know the traffic update immediately on your digipad itself you need not use your smartphone so basically all the users of smartphone are can be accessed by this version of google maps in the digipad so this is one of the best ways you can enhance your usage of the digipad and you can use this in order to access the live traffic update so the three tricks which i showed you just now is that the, you can use the offline maps in the digipad offline google maps you can store a certain area prior to going in prior to going there and you can use it without an internet connection the second one is that you can use a google earth itself inside the google maps and you can see the live satellite imagery and you can also use this while navigation also and the third thing which you can use is the live traffic update wherein you have to enable it using the layer selection and if you just go ahead and click on the traffic button you will be updated with the live traffic of that particular area where you are in but this requires a strong internet connection but that is not a problem you can share it with your smartphone and create a hotspot uh, so that that will help you in getting a live traffic update of that area now these are the three smart tricks which you can use uh, in while using your google maps in the digipad which will enhance your experience of using it on your car and this will be as good as using the latest version of the google maps and you need not use your smartphone in order to use the maps and the fourth and the final trick which i wanted to show you is that right now in this navigation app uh, of google maps it does not show our current speed and i already showed this trick in my previous video but just because this video is dedicated for the google maps i'm going to show that again so this uh, video this fourth trick is regarding the using having a speedometer right on top of the google map so whenever you are navigating or using google maps it the speed will go is going to show up right on the screen and for that the first thing which you need to do is you need to have the ulysses speedometer installed in your car so in this case i have the icon right here and if you haven't installed the ulysses speedometer yet i'll leave a link in the description below you can go ahead and download and install it this is one of the most useful and the most smart looking digital dashboard or the digital speedometer available for the digipad so once you have opened up the ulysses speedometer just click on the central console just head to the navi button option right here and once you click on the navi it is going to give you an option of the google maps so once you click on the google maps this is the four trick guys it is going to show you your current speed it is going to be showing a live actual speed and of course if it's connected to the internet it is going to show you the current temperature as well so this is the four trick where you can use the live traffic as well and also you can get a live speedometer digital speedometer of your car on top of the google maps I don't think any car is going to have this I think this is the best way you can use Google Maps in your car using all the four tricks together now I can also enable the Google Earth as well now as you can see all the things are enabled the live traffic is enabled the digital speedometer is there and the live traffic and the Google Earth is also enabled on top so these are the tricks these are the tricks guys and in case you have saved this as an offline data you can 
use this without any internet connection but you won't be having any live traffic update that's all but other than that if you have an internet connection you will get a live traffic update you can get google earth you can get a digital speedometer on top of google maps and this is the best way you can use google maps in digipad and i think this pretty much solves all the problems and you need not use your smartphone ever in order to use google maps while traveling so that's it guys these are the four top tips and tricks for your car for the google maps usage of your digipad and if this has helped you make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day